Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another video. Today we're going to be doing something that I know isn't all that entertaining, but we're given a server update. Firstly, today's content is not going to be the most fantastical, entertaining thing on the planet, but it is definitely a video that has to be made. And also, to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm trying out the webcam thing. Alright, let's jump into it. So, right off the bat, I'm sure you guys are familiar that I do run Rust servers. I currently have three servers. Now, unfortunately, the player population on two of those servers is super bad right now. Terrible. Very, very low. And as you might expect, that sucks. Um, obviously, I'm trying to fix it and I want to make things better. And so to do that, I have to figure out, well, why did people leave? Well, after asking around and just kind of playing on the server, it's very clear that the biggest issue on the servers was the massive zergs offlining everybody like night one, night two of wipe. And that clearly deters like new players, old players, everybody, right? Because they're just getting hyped up, just getting excited, and then some large zerg ruins their day. On top of that, this problem is like amplified, multiplied <laughs> by the fact that my VIP kits on the server have sulfur in them. Now, they aren't usable the first day of wipe, but nevertheless, it means that these big zergs, not only do they have the advantage of player numbers, but they also have these VIP kits with sulfur in them, so they have even more of a boost. Now, the last problem is sort of a general configuration, but I've heard a lot of complaints that the server is just a little bit too easy, and when you hear that, that also means if it's easy for solos, that means it's even easier for zergs, so there's a problem there. Okay, so, with all that in mind, what the heck am I gonna do? Right off the bat, uh, this is a super tough call and a lot of people will hate me for it. Um, I'm removing sulfur from all VIP kits. No sulfur whatsoever from any kits, I swear to god, legit, it's happening. Um, I have been nerfing sulfur in kits for literally years. But the thing is, I think that no matter what, if sulfur is in kits, it's gonna be a problem, people are gonna complain. So, now that it's gone, I hope that that's no longer an issue. On top of that, I pretty much completely overhauled the loot tables on the servers so that it's less overpowered, frankly. Um, you won't be able to get to endgame as easily as before. Now, you might expect me to say that I'm also adding a group limit, right, to counter the large zergs. But there's a bit of a problem here. I've tried group limits twice now. Once, about two years ago, I tried a limit of, I think, first six and then eight. The second time was about a month ago and I set it to 8. Now, to be honest, the moment I added that group limit, the population on my servers has gone down drastically, and I think that that's a huge reason why the pop is so low. Which is surprising, because I just ran multiple polls, and people all clearly wanted group limits. So how come when I implement it, the pop dies? Honestly, I don't really know. I can't explain that one. All I can conclude is that very clearly group limits deter more players than attract. It sounds kind of lame to say, but I truly think that group limits and kind of the zergs as an overall issue is just something that's not in my control. I think that the devs just have to conquer that one. You know, I remember they were mentioning like diseases or other features like that to kind of deter it. I don't know. It just it just draws away too many players for me. I hope that makes sense. Now, I have been asking around in the community for other ideas. Another really cool one that I don't think I'll do yet is to set the gather rate on sulfur on all my servers to one times, meaning vanilla. So even if it's a 5x server, you set the gather rate on sulfur to one. I thought this is really interesting. It just means that basically the focus kind of shifts. You can't so easily rate everyone night one even if you have a zerg. I think this is a super cool idea but I think it's too early to implement it. I think I'm gonna add in this sulfur nerf and a bunch of these other changes. Let's see how it goes for like a month. And you know what folks, that's pretty much it. Uh, two major shifts, it may not sound like a big deal. Um, the OP loot tables being nerfed and no sulfur in VIP kits, hopefully making the server significantly less pay to win. I know that probably people want me to remove the VIP kits altogether, but as I've explained before, it's something I can't really do. Any kind of implementation like that is a long-term one, because I've got a history of like five years of VIP kits purchased. So I can't just remove them, that's just not a possibility. Um, with that said, uh, long-term, I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be some good changes. 
Well, that's all I got, guys. Hopefully that entices you to come back to the servers. I, of course, would love to see some population on here. I love running the Rust servers. It's always been really fun. Now, it is worth pointing out, you know, this server owner thing is a tricky deal. I'm always trying to improve the servers and make players stay for longer and so on. But of course I make mistakes. And clearly the group limits idea, despite polling and everything, was a bad idea. Anywho, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're interested in playing in the servers, definitely check the links down below. I just updated the website. Super easy to join now. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.